Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over the Glowforge Pro versus the Glowforge Basic print speeds. Um, so first up, we're going to do the engraved times here, and before you begin uh, to even go through this video, I'm not going to actually print these off today as it shows the time of what it's estimated to do, and that's fairly accurate every single time. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, I've got a line here that I did on a tile a while ago, and we're just going to use this uh, line because it's a pretty big um, rasterized image here. We're going to go ahead and test this image, see what it is between the basic and the pro. So I already have it set with the focus in the exact same location on both the basic. As you see, this is my basic machine, the DBG, and the pro is my pro machine here and I have it in the exact same location um, and this is all the way up against the edge of the print area and up here on both machines and as you can see I already hit print they are both the exact same time so no speed increase with the actual Glowforge proof grade material settings now with that said they did recently introduce um, a new speed feature where you can could do like custom speeds faster. So if I went ahead and did a manual speed, I can increase it all the way to 1400. So that's on the basic, and then on the plus or on, on the pro, you could do the same thing, and you can go all the way up to 4000. Now, with that said, I've seen a lot of people say that 4000 is just too fast. They've noticed skipping in their engraves on some machines and uh, it just comes out really light so if you're going to want a quality engrave I personally like the normal settings anyways but that's the reason why um, the Pro is technically faster so let's go ahead and go back to the um, the proof grade settings here let's just try like um, we're going to go ahead and cancel this on both machines and we're going to try the proof grade settings for just like an SD graphic. And we're going to do the same for the Pro. And we're going to just go ahead and hit print on both of these. And then we're going to give you a comparison on SD um, graphic engrave as well. Um, it'd be similar to the HD graphics, but HD graphics is longer. Um, this is just to give you a comparison to see if the engraves are the exact same time, which I would imagine that they would be. Um, so we'll go ahead and go through this. Where I think you're going to be saving time is maybe in the cuts, and we'll try that next. Um, this is the first time doing a side-by-side -side that I've tried this. So it looks like we got 42 minutes, and this is on the basic. And the Pro is still processing here. and 42 minutes and 33 seconds so you saved two seconds there from the basic to the pro so a little bit more of a difference when you go to SD engrave um, like an SD graphic so that's where it's gonna that's gonna be your difference between the actual pro and the basic there so not too much for the actual engraving and if you think that I've done this uh, test wrong or I'm doing something wrong here let me know in the comments so you can correct me but as far as I know this is gonna be the the most accurate information and the reason why I did it all the way in the top left corner is that actually it makes the Glowforge head travel shorter distance so I'm doing the fastest distance and the fastest engrave possible and no these cutouts will not affect it because I did the autofocus right on to the material itself just to show you the print um, and they're both the medium cherry plywood there so now let's go ahead and exit out of both of these we're gonna cancel both of these one more time and we'll try the cuts see the difference there so we're gonna go home and we're gonna upload um, let's see here this Christmas test that we did in a different video here While that's uploading, we'll cancel or we'll dismiss this and then we'll do the same thing here. We'll just open the same Christmas test that we just did. And right there is the Christmas test, um, and it's still processing on the Pro. 
Not sure why it's taking so long on the Pro to process some of this, but the basic went a little bit quicker there. So um, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab this whole design. We're going to go all the way. You see how it turned gray, this whole thing turned gray? That means I'm outside of the cut area, so I'm going to go one to the right. Now I'm in the cut area, and I'm going to go up until it says gray. Right there it's gray, so I'm going to go one down. And right there I'm perfectly in the cut area. And we're going to do the same thing on the basic here. We're going to go ahead and go all the way over, just using our arrow keys until it turns gray, like that, and go one back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go up here until it turns gray, and then one back. There we go. So everything's in the exact same location. We're gonna try it as a cut. As you can see, everything is cut. Um, it's already set for proof grade cut on all of these um, because it auto detect this tag. And the reason why I have this upside down in here is so it can detect the tag and I have enough material that I can focus on properly. So we're going to go ahead and set our focus now. And just to make sure this is fair, I'm going to click the very corner of this uh, Merry Christmas here. So it's going to focus right on that very corner of the M. And that one's going. So let me do this one. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on this very corner with the mouse, just like we did the other one. Trying to get as precise as possible. There we go. So both of those are auto-focusing now. And I will say the auto-focus on the Pro um, seems a little bit quicker because the head definitely goes a little bit faster to get to that location. So now um, we're going to go ahead and hit print with all of the proof grade settings here on the basic. And uh, this shouldn't take too long to process since it's just cuts, I would assume. There we go. 8 minutes and 57 seconds. Now on the Pro, we're going to hit print, and we're going to see if this is that 8 minutes and 57 seconds and see what we're paying for. So it's 8 minutes and 24 seconds, so you definitely save a little bit of time on the cuts. Now as you can see, this is a pretty big cut area um, where I think you're going to save the most time is if you have a lot of small little tiny cuts that's going to be all over the board. That might save you a little bit of extra time. But if you're going for speed and you're going to use the custom or the preset settings um, that look really nice for the engraves for Glowforge material, um, basic may be the way that you want to go if you're willing to wait a couple extra seconds or maybe even minutes depending on how much time you're going to save. Um, and I would assume that the plus, since it's a mid-range model, is going to be pretty much the same as either the pro or the basic. So you can judge off of there on how much money it's worth for you. The Pro obviously has the extra cooling feature. So if you live in a hot area, uh, you've got that benefit. And um, it has the pass-through slot. So if you're going to be doing bigger items, yeah, definitely go Pro. Uh, otherwise, we have the Basic. And the Basic does pretty much the same stuff. Um, it just has a little bit less of a weak, uh, weaker uh, laser. So there's my uh, results on the speed of the basic versus the pro. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, like I said, if I did do something wrong that you've seen, let me know. But I'm fairly certain that I have everything um, in the exact same area, exact same way. That would be the exact same cut. So let me know in the comments below. And I hope this helped you guys out. And we'll talk to you next time.